I landed in uh, San Francisco and I tried to buy a train ticket, but I don't know why I couldn't buy it. Everything should be fine, but it didn't accept my card, which is strange. Uh, but anyway, um, maybe there was something wrong with the machine, but I went there to... Like, I went to the airport to withdraw some money from ATM, so maybe by cash I will be able to buy it. And there are like some cool Haitian sculptures. And I'm wondering, like, they're very cool, but I'm wondering, like, it's kind of boring, like, how do you end up there? Because I know that, you know, <laughs> lots of things from other countries that end up in, you know, some richer countries, they, they get stolen. So I'm thinking, like, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe they should be in Haiti. <laughs> because, you know, we all know how it works. Like, <laughs> It's actually much cooler than I expected, like much cold, colder because like I expected it to be like, I don't know <laughs> I mean I didn't also like want to prepare myself for like hotness because I like hot weather and I would be disappointed <laughs> but it's kind of chilly, like I'm happy that I'm wearing like a, a jeans jacket but I would, I could be cold if I wasn't wearing one for me that was very surprising that kind of all the like border control already happened in Canada because like I knew some control happened in Canada I was thinking like probably there would be even more border control there but no actually all of the border control happened in Canada maybe that's why after I, I passed it there was like a writing saying welcome to the United States and I was thinking like Probably I will have one more control because like in almost every country while I arrive there's like a, a border control uh, and like this place is infamous for like having a very pain in the ass border control I mean in Canada it kind of lasted quite long they told us to like take the shoes off and like they scanned all the fingerprints and stuff like this so yeah it kind of was like it was longer than other countries but uh, I didn't really have like th there was uh, no control after we passed it like there was no control there when after we landed so a bit of surprise and right now I'm planning to eat something and charge my phone a bit and then I'm planning to take the train And actually, at least from what I read, my hostel is like um, very close to the train station. So hopefully. <laughs> but I didn't eat breakfast and I kind of started being hungry right now. And I will also charge my phone because I always have a problem with my phone dying. Damn, this. There's some places to charge my phone and on the other side there's like places to charge my phone but the food is like less breakfast like I guess I don't know I hope there will be some place to charge my phone I called my cash and right now I'm waiting and honestly like I, I've been <laughs> I've been studying um, when I was at the airport, I was studying French and I'm still like disappointed in how slow my progress is even though my, my progress is fast for somebody who just started learning but I still wish it was faster so <laughs> but it's like that with me unfortunately when I get ambitious I never feel satisfied so I started being like a little anxious you know about studying too slowly <laughs> so yeah that's unfortunate I mean, yeah, maybe I will, like, if I pay for, like, Super Duolingo, maybe then I will study faster because then I will not have a limit of heart. That's a good idea, maybe. Yes. I just arrived in San Francisco. I am in the station for which I have to go to my hostel. It's actually not as close as I thought, but it's also not very far away. I can walk. It's not a problem for me. I actually walked quite a lot right now because I have stairs and for me like walking is not a problem at all but when I walk on the stairs and I walk fast sometimes I run out of breath so I'm kind of out of breath right now <laughs> Damn, it's so pretty 
get used to the fact that here and also in Canada, like everything is so big. I mean, I know that that's also a stereotype that like here everything is big, but also that's kind of true. Like even when I was like, like there's a lot of space everywhere. And even when I was on a train, like the train is also wider. In Canada also it was quite wide. And everything is like so big. And the streets they have like, the streets are very, very, very wide. But that's what I knew also <laughs> from a lot of people who have been there. They told me that the streets they are very wide. And right now I'm going in my direction of my hostel. Oh my god, am I getting a chest pain right now? Am I that, that much not fit? I mean, I'm feeling like, you know, it has kind of Mediterranean vibe, but everything at the same time is much bigger and like the buildings are much higher. Like everything is much bigger. And it's so strange because it's not only on the Mediterranean place, it's by the Pacific Ocean. So it's very far away, but maybe that's the ocean vibe. I don't know. But also there's like a slight breeze, which is very pleasant, honestly. Like the weather is really pleasant. I think it's like 20 degrees or something. And it's sunny. And the wind is like blowing a bit. Those trams are so cool. That's another reason kind of reminds me of Lisbon. I hope that it's like the same ticket for them. Like the same card. I don't know, honestly. Because they seem to go to a lot of places. <laughs> I don't want to be buying a new card. I just bought this one. Union Square, which happens to be very close to my hostel. Tell me of art, and I'm not an artsy person, but I kind of envy people who study there because this city is so pretty. Studying there must be so cool, but on the other hand, knowing how much universities in this country cost, I would not do that anyway. Because no, 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 no way. I'm almost there. Uh, I noticed that they have the same thing that Canada has that they have like those staircases outside the building and I'm wondering if that's like to save the space inside or is this like for evacuation purposes I think evacuation purposes because who would like to like use the stairs outside of the home all the time it would be very annoying <laughs> well, here's my hostel as you see like Netherlands is stalking me because my hostel is called called Amsterdam and in my previous hostel there was a picture from Amsterdam and even one hostel that I didn't know when I was booking that I have in New York is located on Amsterdam Avenue so as you see Amsterdam is very much stalking me and right now I have to hurry because like actually the, the different attractions they are quite far away from each other and I also want to go to sleep quite early because I'm, I didn't sleep last night so yeah I have to go. Oh. I have to go. Maybe that's why so much luxury. It's actual it's an actual hotel, not the hostel this time. On my way to the painted ladies. I unfortunately don't know the name of those trees, but they are so beautiful. I love them. I love the nature here. Right now I am in a historic uh, Fillmore district and I am going uh, to paint the ladies. And I uh, got out of the bus earlier than I was supposed to. But I was like, no, I'm, I'm just gonna walk for a moment. It's okay. And oh my God, what a cool house. I love this blue house. It's so cool. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm walking to the painted ladies and apparently, I don't know exactly what's happening today, but apparently there's some event, some holiday or something happening today. And uh, yeah, there's something happening uh, today because I, I, I was going through Japan town because it's very close to where I live. And uh, I think there was something Japanese happening. Maybe there's some Japanese holiday or something like this. There were a lot of people dressed up and a lot of people in traditional clothing and um, something was happening. I don't know exactly what, unfortunately, but it's probably some holiday. I don't know if it was some kind of holiday or a festival or something like this, but something was happening. <laughs> there were like crowds of people in some places. 
This house is so cool. Oh my god, I love it. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's kind of annoying in the city. I mean, it makes it more beautiful, makes my makes it more difficult and more tiring. Is that it's like uh, you have a lot of hills, and you go up and down, up and down. <laughs> so it's tiring, but it makes it more beautiful. Those houses, they are such pieces of art. They are so beautiful. Oh my God, I love them. These are indeed the painted ladies. This building is another piece of art that I found here. Like, they're so beautiful, not just the painted ladies, but there's like a lot of beautiful buildings. So I went to Lombard Street, which is like another infamous, oh, infamous, I do, why do I say infamous, famous uh, this time? This time famous, uh, famous landmark, uh, landmark, whatever. Sorry, I'm forgetting everything because I'm tired. I've been climbing this place and I'm not very fit, so I don't do sports. So when I climb such things, I'm like, ah, oh. like I can walk for hours, but climbing, it's way more tiring for me. I'm kind of happy that I'm there in spring because it's kind of windy. It's not really hot. It's like, like I would be cold if I wasn't climbing for a moment, but actually for climbing, that's a good weather. So that's actually a perfect weather for climbing. And I think that's what they mean, that it's like a landmark, I think they mean the view. But maybe they, there's also like something else they do, that they mean, and that I will see. Because like actually Lombard street itself is very long. I went through this street up to this point, which is like supposedly this famous point. Oh my god, I envy people who live there in those houses. They are so cool. Like in general, this pretty, is, uh, it's pretty. This city is so pretty. I cannot speak. I told you, like, when I'm tired, I forget how to speak and how to think and how to exist. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. This is the famous place. I know this uh, like from the pictures. That's this is the, the famous place. This is the Lombard Street. Like, oh, oh, it took me so much climbing. No, I'm sorry. But this place is great. That's that's actually true. <laughs> I arrived at the Fisherman's Wharf and this place is amazing. I love it so much. It's so cool. I have to go somewhere and charge my phone. And I will buy something to eat and charge my phone there. But this place is so cool and so relaxing. So I have just been to IHOP. International House of Pancake and I actually didn't know about the existence of IHOP uh, but I because I've never been to USA before and I was never really that interested in what kinds of restaurants are there um, I'm not one of those people that always checks out what kinds of uh, d different restaurants are in different countries I never really pay attention but recently I've been watching Fundy Friday's video where there was uh, IHOP which was like, they were talking, oh, I don't blame you if, if you think about pancakes, if you hear, hear this name, and not about the cult, because there's a cult called, called IHOP as well. And it's technically, they, they call themselves a church, but I, I call them a cult, because I think it should be normalized to, to call Christian bigots cults. Because, you know, like, with, uh, if they were Muslim, they would be in jail. <laughs> so, yeah. But they are Christians, so they can do whatever they want. Uh, I, I normalize. I, I should. I think we should normalize calling such people cults. Uh, anyway, uh, and I was. It was so funny because I just I went inside this restaurant because I saw that they are selling some food, and I wanted to sit for a moment. And they were actually selling pancakes, and I, I saw it was I hope, and I was like, damn, this is the I hope. And actually, it was. I I have a criticism. It was very expensive. Like honestly. It's expensive. It's like a fast food, but it's expensive. Like, why? Why are those things so expensive? Like, sixteen dollars for like for pancake. <laughs> no, no, no. That's expensive. I mean, that's not only one pancake, but still, I would prefer having one pancake and paying less money. Is this Alcatraz? I think it's Alcatraz. I'm not sure, but 
I think it's Alcatraz. Oh my god, this place is unreal, by the way. But it became suddenly so chilly, like I'm cold. And over here is Pier 39. Oh my god, it's so cold. Seriously, like this. <laughs> the sun is traitorous because you think it's it's sunny, so it shouldn't be cold. And it's cold. By the way, I got just kind of got uh, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> not today, maybe next time. <laughs> we just started recording and uh, this guy he wanted something. Uh, but you know, next time. I mean, he was kind, so uh, yeah, I wish him good luck. <laughs> but I, was just, I just started recording. And honestly, like I was kind of shocked because when I went to IHOP, I was thinking like, you know, there's calories also in Europe, in the, sometimes in UK, I know there's calories in UK uh, and uh, in restaurants. And I was shocked because these are like the calories that those things have. They have so many calories there. Like, I don't know what they add to those things, but they have like double the calories that you would have in Europe. I don't know. Like, I would see like some, maybe they have bigger portions and that's why. Because I heard that they have bigger por big portions there. But I just took a very small thing because everything was like expensive. So I don't know if they had <laughs> big or small portions. But I heard that they have big portions. And I'm not surprised that people there are fat because it's like some some things they were like 1500 calories in one meal. Like, what? Anyway, for me, that's insane. And that's kind of scary because like 1500 calories, like. If I eat 1500 calories in an entire day, then I'm like, oh, I ate a lot of calories today. Uh, because I, more or less, I count my calories. And they have like this much calories in one meal. Like in one meal. I'm not surprised that people are fat there. Like, I'm surprised that there are any people there that aren't fat, to be honest. Like, maybe that's why they have more fat people. But it's like, my God, like, I don't know what they add to those food or to this food. Maybe they have big portions, but. Like, I don't know, that's so strange, but also I would prefer a smaller portion and to pay less because it's expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm back in the fisherman's world because it's, this area is so cute, honestly. So I have a friend who is obsessed with weasels and he was recently talking about weasels all the time. And now I go to a shop in San Francisco with a lot of different kinds of socks. And I found socks with weasels, and I would literally buy them those socks for him. But uh, he, they were for women, so I think they may be too small for him. But it's so funny that actually I found weasel socks. To be honest, in here in San Francisco, I, I found the biggest choice of socks that I have ever seen in my life, and those socks they are so cool. Like honestly, I wouldn't even know which ones I would like the most. <laughs> And unfortunately, I like socks, but they cost like $12, so it's like kind of expensive. <laughs> so if there was like a sale that if you buy like, I don't know, three pairs, you get extra four or something like this, whatever. Like if there was like any sale, it would be so cool. But I don't think there 